to Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh. Um, how long's the journey? Larry. Larry. How long's the journey? About another two hours. Um, it's not too bad. I think it's overall like four hours, three hours, something like that. Um, I'm currently just watching some YouTube, and Larry is about to edit um, the day two demand vlog. <coughs> Get up the room. Very small stairs. So I'm number seven. Lovely wee bed made out of strawberries. <laughs> this is our work desk over here. <laughs> At least the air con's on. And this is our lovely tiny bathroom. A shower right there. No, uh it works. It's also in a really, really good. Um, I'll show when we're leaving. I'll show it because it's like the view. I'll show you the view. But the view is, I'd say, the top ten, top ten view of everything. <laughs> there you go, bit of grass. Because there's fair, buildings. Though, that's the whole. That's the walkway through there. To be fair, like, like Edinburgh is very expensive to stay in, stay yeah. in Saigon. Um, and like Ho Chi Minh for some people. Like, you know. Well, it's formally known as Saigon. Yeah. Because when we went to your man in Wine, to Ho Chi Minh, he said, remember, he goes, Saigon. And we were like, Ho Chi Minh. And he was like, yes, yeah, Saigon. That's when we found out that Ho Chi Minh's formerly known Saigon. as Saigon. Um, I paid 30 euros, so it was uh, 936,000. The reason I booked it here, I could have got one a bit cheaper, but I booked it because the bus that we're getting, uh, going up to... Um, my head's blank. Cambodia? To Cambodia, yes. It's literally like a two minute walk from here, and the bus drop is off two minutes from here, so it's like the ideal place to book. And also, it is very hot today. Yeah. It's 36 degrees. 36 degrees. Um, we're not used to this one. We came in here, even the lady started offering us water when we came in because we were all like too sweaty. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna. I don't know, do something and then leave, go get some food because we haven't ate breakfast or anything today. We had a few crisps on the, on the bus, but then yeah, go explore the city a bit. Hi guys, we're in the city of Ho Chi Minh. So we went and we went to got our tickets for Cambodia. We bought that, we got it early because we're leaving on the 26th. We paid, it was 80? No, it was about Six, yeah, 65 euro for the two. And, and they sort out. They sort out everything. Yeah. Sort out the visas and everything there. And uh, we're just gonna have to pay for the visas on the on the bus. So it's for forty dollars for uh, the visas on the spot. And so you yeah. have to have cash. Yeah, I have to have cash. But right now we're going to look to eat for breakfast or lunch or something it's like that. Sharing. Yeah, lunch. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna explore the city a bit and then check. What's this? Wait, this uh, so far this is how Ho Chi Minh looks like. But yeah, catch us in a bit. So we made our way into the market over here. Are we gonna keep going or should we leave? Uh, I don't know. We we'll just go keep going. We will explore more. We did this about like a perfume spray for okay, one. It's, it's, it's originally it was asking 250, but we got it down to 150. Then I got myself a bigger bag because mine's a bit too small. I needed more space. He was asking 250, got down to 180. Ahead for you, my friend. No, I'm okay. Well, I'm you. Uh, but yeah, that's how it looks like so far. Hello, good day, Shatan. No, I'm okay, thank you. You want my wallet for you? I'm okay. It's, there's just a big maze around here, like it's a massive place as well. It's only one floor, but it's massive. There's no air. No air. There's no air to breathe. But yeah, uh, we're just gonna have another wee nosy around and then 
But yeah, we're gonna go to the post office and send off a wee postcard home. And but yeah, so we made it to the post office to send off a few postcards home. It's a lovely post office. It does not look like a post office no. from the outside. It's, like, it's so humid. <laughs> Larry's not having fun. No, I'm so, I'm so warm. It's like oh. So we're currently inside the post office, writing some postcards. For mumsies and for our nanas. Nanas, yeah. Um. So this is the post office. Yeah, we're gonna send these off. We paid for the four, I think it paid 30, 40, 45,000. 45,000, yeah. Well, there's gonna be shipping as well now, so we'll see now. And the stamps. Yeah. Um, so we just finished up getting um, the, the post office. We sent out five postcards in total. We so paid 250 gone roughly around there. Larry sent one to his parents, his nana, and his goddaughter. And then I just sent one to my nana and my parents. Um, it was actually a very confusing system. Like, so you have to go get the postcard and then you pay for your postcard and then you go and write all the information that you need, like the address and a little message. The stamps were huge. Yeah. Massive, up like, right. and I, one of my postcards was actually very small. So I had to end up like clearing out some of the writing and rewriting it because it was just taking up too much space. Uh, but anyways, you get your, um, you get your postcard, you write your stuff, then you get your stamps and then you throw it out. Um, but some people have the little poly pocket things. Yeah, we, well, no one told us about it. Yeah. Well, we're just hoping because it's just a piece of cardboard and a stamp, so hopefully it doesn't get yeah. damaged on the way. Um, so we are on our way to Cafe Apartments. It's a go-to in Saigon. Um, so it's basically like an apartment style building and has loads of different cafes. So we're gonna go over because the war museum's closed. Yeah. Uh, that Larry wanted to go, so we're gonna go to that tomorrow. Um, but we'll show you once we get there. It's a 10 minute walk, so. Larry. Ah, lads, I'm back at home. Uh, I found the pub where it has Guinness cans, so. So we were walking towards the cafe apartments and then we look over to our left and see a place that says O'Brien's. And then straight away we were like, Irish pub. So we walked over, now they didn't do drought, but we see that they do cans, so. There she is. And all this glory. We'll see if it's nice though. It's a cat. Show me, show me the front. Right. Come on with the tree. <laughs> I just bought like back at home. <laughs> There is a cafe, so it's like apartment but cafe kind of thing. How'd you get up there though? I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. You just came up for the, the cafe apartments, look at that view. Yeah. Doesn't get better than that, does it? So, we did a thing. Larry wanted to lie to you and not tell you that we did this. <laughs> so, we are getting steaks. Well, we were gonna go get food anyway, so we're like two in one. We came up here to get coffee, so we're like two in one, you know. We didn't even get coffees. <laughs> Look it, right? We did the damage. We have ordered. No going back now. We just pray it's worth the money. Yeah. That's the only thing. Because for me, if I eat and it's actually lovely, then I don't really mind because I know that I actually had a nice day. Or if it's choice. Then you know you made a mistake. But at least we have a view. So I'll give you a tour where our hotel is located. So that's the main street down here. Uh, you go down this road. That's Where is it? That's that's a parrot. Talking parrot. We were it keeps whistling on us. We were walking and something started like whistling and me and I got so confused, we're like, what the hell is that? And then like started like talking weird and we were like, nah, that's freaky, what is it? And then we realized that it was a parrot. <laughs> but we can't see where it is. It's funny though. It took us what my, is with the 
it took me a while to find it because my phone died so i knew it was on this road because there's a park right on the opposite side but which entrance it was because it's like a amazing yard but we found the edge there's so many little alleyways around that we never know which one it is so <laughs> not just there just, so we're coming through this alleyway and then take a left this is where the hotel is uh, right here did I mention the stairs? Look at these stairs. Wake up. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are on our way to the museum. It's a war museum, yes. And it's a few minutes walk from here. Uh, it's very hot in the morning. It's 31 degrees, and it's going to be 30. It'll go up to 36 degrees. Uh, it's 10 o'clock right now. Yeah, so we're gonna pop into the museum first, then later we're gonna go up to the tallest building here. Well, so. we don't know if we're doing it yet, we're gonna yeah. see. But it's on the list, we'll see if we're doing it. And we'll, we'll try to get something else done. Um, well, there's actually a lot we want to get done today, because obviously it's our last day here. Yeah. Um, and we're leaving really early tomorrow. Well, not really early, but we're leaving at 4 10 ish, so um, it's the only day really. So yeah. So we've made it in inside the museum. Outside is the uh, all our work hats. There's a wee tank over there. Tack helicopter over there. So yeah, we're just gonna have to look around and see what the crack is here. So we have just finished up the war museum. I didn't film there because there's uh, very graphic pictures in there. Also. Yeah, there's very graphic pictures and we took a little few pictures on our phones, but um, we kind of just wanted to... We looked around, yeah. it was very interesting. There was, a, there was three floors. Um, tray floors and then obviously this outside area as well and then a few outside areas on the other side like cages and stuff um, it's sad man very sad I uh, have never knew much about the Vietnam War but me and Laurie found out that it was a 17 year um, yeah. war like that's how long it took um, which is the longest war ever recorded but um, I thought it was really really good yeah, it was very good um, we paid 80,000 dong, was it? Yeah. 80,000 dong, yeah, um, for both of us. Um, so if you are ever in Saigon, definitely have a look if you like history, or even if you just want to learn. Um, it's very, very good. Um, but there is a lot of graphic pictures in there. Um, but yeah, where are we going now? I have a clue. We're going to... Yeah, we might stop somewhere for a little bite to eat or something. We'll just walk and see because uh, we are getting hungry and it's getting very warm. So maybe a cold beverage, you know? Maybe a little coconut. Yeah. We'll see. Hello. Hi, guys. We have just finished up having some food. We had it in Eddie Rockets. Don't ask how much we spent. Moving on. Um, so we actually don't know what to be at today because... Everything's very far. And it's too, it's too hot. Like, I have more energy, it's too hot. Larry's not having a great time right now. Um, so basically, the Chuchi tunnels that we wanted to do, it's 50 kilometers from Saigon. And um, it involves either getting a tour guide or for us to get there ourselves, and it's 50 kilometers journey. So, we could do it. It's 36 degrees right now. But it's 36 degrees, and we don't really want to, to be honest. Go into the jungle where it's even more hotter. Um, now there could be shade in the jungle, so... Anyways, so we decided that we're gonna go play some pool. It's only one o'clock, like, we still have the whole day. And we are gonna go to Landmark 81, which is, like, the tallest building in Saigon. And you can go up to the top and, like, walk out. It's very pretty. Um, but, um, yeah, we're not having a lot of them right now because it's very, very hot. 
so hot, like I mean. Like I'm extreme. Still looking hell hot, hot in them and fucking nice. It's just, it's it's near unbearable. Um, but we kind of have to get used to it because this is the temperature it's going to be like all the way. This is like as hot as the Yeah. Like, fair mind, it's only February. Yeah, we'd love to go for a swim, but there's no, no, no beaches or anything anywhere. Yeah. But we'll catch us once we go to this pool place. Good morning, guys. Can you say good morning? Good morning, guys. Um, we have just uh, to go to the bus to go to Cambodia and we paid for our visas. It was really hard. The 83 year old that paid us for the visas for Cambodia. Um, but, um, yeah, we got here. The bus actually got here pretty quick. We're on the bus now. It's about a five hour journey. It's just the regular sitting ones, unfortunately. We thought it would be a sleeper one, but the chairs are pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a five hour journey, and we're going to Phnom Penh for two nights or three nights? Three nights. So, very excited. New country. We changed our money to Cambodian. We changed about. No, a bit more. It came out to three times a day. Just to have a bit of money in case we want to like pop into the shop or something. Yeah. Pretty cool. But we'll take just probably a trip journey. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Just finished up at the um, um, border. Border, and um, we just got our passports through. It was actually very, very handy. Yeah, because way. the company sorted everything. The company sorted everything out. So you, you just kind of had to walk pick up there. your passport. Yeah, <laughs> and just give it back again. Uh, they still have our passports though, until we probably get there. We are just about to cross the border. The border is literally just ahead of us, up behind the fence. So we're just waiting for the. Ooh, ooh, country. And we're just waiting for the. Um, Lady the lady back. to come back that was doing everything and then we're gonna film us crossing the border Cambodia the country I think we have about like an hour and a half maybe two hours left no, maybe a bit longer we're stopping in three hours we're stopping in a few minutes to get some lunch yeah um, we have some just packed though so and then yeah a few hours left in the movie oh, cool. yeah. in Cambodia <laughs>